Well, it's time for Media Watch now, and I'm delighted to say that Emma James is with us in the studio. It's good to see Hi, you, Emma, as always. Uh, we're going to start with a local story. Uh, a bit of an unseemly row has broken out over how to restore the fire-damaged Notre Dame Cathedral. Yes, absolutely. Notre Dame still much marked, of course, by that fire back in April and far from secured, but it hasn't stopped people rowing about exactly how she should be restored. Uh, its chief architect says that she should be rebuilt as she was with the spire that fell in those flames, uh, re restored, rebuilt, very much in a similar kind of mould. Uh, but he has now been told he should shut his mouth. Mm. Uh, so, in interesting no turn sense. of phrase. Uh, the unusually frank remark comes from none other than General uh, Jean-Louis Georgelin, who is the army general, rather curiously, who's been put in charge of overseeing the restoration project by the, the president. Yes, Emmanuel that is Macron. unusual, isn't it, for an It does army seem a general. little odd. I'm not quite sure what his relevance is to the job, but there we go, he is in the job. Uh, what he said was, I have already explained to him several times he should shut his mouth, and that is, frankly, a polite translation of the exact words that he <laughs> said. And what's interesting is this wasn't an un unguarded comment made, picked up by a stray microphone. This was actually said in front of the Commission of Cultural affairs at the National Assembly. There were a few gasps and a small ripple That's of it. laughter as people there... Uh they are known for being quite straight-talking, aren't they, army generals? Indeed. Still. And, yes, indeed. The Le Parisien says of this particular gentleman, he is known for his strong character. Uh, Georges Lain favours a slight modernising of the spire, hence uh, being rather at odds with the chief architect of uh, Notre Dame. Um, he has been rebuked by the culture minister, Franck Riester, uh, who branded the comments unacceptable, saying respect is a cardinal value of our society. As public officials, we must be exempt. Exemplary. Um, now, the chief architect uh, has said on a number of occasions that he believes the spire should be rebuilt as it used to be, mm. as close to identical a replica as he can possibly manage. And he is working to a tight schedule because Emmanuel Macron wants this done within five years. And he says the only way that he can do that is to keep essentially the same design. The reason for that five-year limit is essentially, I think, Emmanuel Macron wants the crowds who come to Paris for the Olympics in 2024 to be able to go to the Notre Dame. Cathedral. He's committed himself to that, hasn't he? Absolutely. Um, so, yes, he has said, we should let those who understand do the talking. So, unsurprisingly, he's ruffled a few feathers. Uh, public reactions to this are interesting. This gentleman saying that uh, you could translate uh, General Georges Lain's comments as he should close his mouth so that we can quietly rebuild a horror that no one apart from us wants. Rather a negative one. Uh, this was <laughs> this image was attached to a tweet saying uh, the general is serving his majesty. Surely not. <laughs> wondering whether or not... Uh, the new Notre Dame could be an ode to Emmanuel Macron. I've not seen that oh, image before. <laughs> Indeed, <laughs> extremely. Uh, this woman saying, Notre Dame, France should put design, traditional versus modern, to a referendum. Why not? Yeah. Um, not sure that referendums are the best way to go at this moment in time. But anyway, this They can person, go wrong, can't they? They can indeed. <laughs> uh, this person saying, it was made with the architectural knowledge and the materials of the time. We must rebuild it with those of our era. Not forgetting, she says, uh, ecological concerns. And she's used an image of uh, the pyramid at the Louvre to illustrate really how modern construction can actually add something to something traditional rather than just destroy the, the previous feeling of it. Oh, it's a bit of a row that's going to go on and on, I fear. They are on the deadline, aren't they? All right, let's move uh, to something else. And I know as a rugby fan, this one is rather close to your <laughs> heart, isn't it? Uh, the South African rugby team, uh, the, the world champions, of course, uh, are using their moment in the spotlight to launch a campaign for men's health. Yes, absolutely. South Africa, of course, blew away their English rivals in the Rugby World Cup final. Now they are trying to do the same thing to a certain taboo. Now, this is scrum half Faf de Klerk. Oh. Um, he's often seen <laughs> in his underpants. These are actually swimming trunks. Quite small he, underpants. <laughs> indeed. He's <laughs> urging his team and the entire world, frankly, to pose in their swimming trunks uh, to get everyone talking about testicular cancer. There is a good reason why he is undressed. He's quite oh, frequently photographed like that. Yeah. He, he even met Prince Harry in his underpants or swimming trunks. Um, among the <laughs> other players who've donned their budgie smugglers, uh, the captain, oh. Sia Khaleesi, a uh, fine figure of a man, I think you'll agree. <laughs> um, and uh, Mapimpi, no he's uh, also taken the 
testicular cancer challenge. Uh, and it's interesting oh, to see. Are scroll down? Oh, well, yes, we are. If you're going to do it, you've got to scroll down, honestly. Uh, but the idea of this, it isn't just a chance for them to show off their incredible physiques. Um, what they want to do is they want to remove the stigma of talking about checking your own testicles. Mm. Because they say women uh, have managed to open up about self-examination of their breasts to avoid breast True. cancer. And the same should be done for men. There shouldn't be a stigma attached. Exactly. And this isn't a spur of the moment thing at all. There is an entire website for the FAF challenge, uh, which has some great plays on words. Get some ball skills, it says. Uh, warm up, touchdown, blitz defence, all about how you can check yourself and keep yourself in tip top health. Lots of women reacting to this, as you might imagine. Oh my goodness, glad to see you using your superpowers <laughs> for good. Uh, this woman's saying, I think I love this challenge. <laughs> Suitable gif there. This woman's saying, Father, help me. I don't know why I keep zooming in. I shouldn't even be here. <laughs> Frankly, my eyeballs felt like they needed a bit of a washout after some of the images I've seen. Uh, because there are normal people taking part in this too. Uh, this Twitter user <laughs> pointing out that some are just using it as a chance to showboat, um, saying it's a low-key excuse for some of my brothers to pose half-nude and showing bulges. And some people are being very brave, not showing the usual bulges. Uh, this gentleman I love, Sir Jay, saying he didn't want to scare the kids by wearing his Speedos, so he's keeping the shorts for now to keep it clean. Thank you, very Sir Very brave. Yes, I think indeed. it's a good decision. <laughs> but it's a great way to keep sp spreading the message. Absolutely. I can't wait for this one to go viral. Great initiative by the <laughs> South African rugby team. I approve. Emma, thank you very much indeed. Emma James there with Media Watch. Now, time for our focus report.